Nebraska gets on the board first here in this tie break. Chova serving at Love One. Chova stepping up and taking advantage of that short ball. Each player needs to step up and take some chances, be a little aggressive. Don't just wait for the other player to miss. face of Christina Kuchova. I mean, she is really pumped up. She has been fighting her way, clawing her way through this match. She's doing all the right things. She's moving the ball around, putting a little extra mustard on it, and Radwanska continues to roll these unforced errors off of her racket. Just to give you an idea, 10 unforced errors for Kuchova in the third set, 25 for Radwanska. One, two. Side now, Cindy has the air down there with attention. Yeah, you can just see Cindy one. She's so emotional right now. You can tell that she wants this more than anything she's ever wanted in her whole life. And Rambanska is really struggling. She's now standing in the back of the court, up against the fence. She is absolutely spent. Yeah, Rambanska has really been working hard this week. The singles and the doubles. She won the doubles championship title yesterday with Milovskaya to come out and play in the single championships today and to get to a third set tie break is just exhausting for Radvanska. 1-3. making that error. Well, Radvanska's wishing right now that she were on center court where there is a challenge system and Kuchova pointed to the ball immediately and set out and then started screaming, come on. Now you can hear the crowd trying to buoy Radvanska with a chance of Ula. Now there's no chase review out here on court 13. And it is now 5-1 for Kuchova as the players will change in. Really an extraordinary effort by Kuchova right now to fight her way through this match. And Radvanska is kind of muttering to herself as she changes sides. <laughs> Radvanska is talking to her parents on the side in Polish. You can tell the fight is quickly flying out of her. Yeah, you can see the tension on the face of Mrs. Radvanska trying to get some energy into Radvanska by a higher being, perhaps. Radvanska has only lost two matches in her junior career this year. She has a 20 and two record. One, two, good job. Quarterfinalist, the Australian Open. Round of 32, Rolling Garros, winner of Wimbledon, and now in the finals here at the U.S. Open. <laughs> oh, 
good pressure move from Radvanska. Forcing Kuchova to have to come up with a great shot on the pass. Kuchova leads 5-3 in the tie break. But Kat, since this tournament began, with Alana Kloss from South Africa winning in 1974, it has never been decided by a third set tiebreak. History in the making today. from Radvanska. Gives her three match points, three championship points. is working on viewings. There's just Six, nothing four. left in the tank, and then she comes up with a blistering forehand down the line winner. Unbelievable. Typically, when your back is against the wall, you come out with your best shots, and that was one of them. 6-4, Kuchova. Katrina Kuchova, she goes over to hug her coach, Martin. What a poignant moment for this 17-year-old who just fought from the moment the match started to right up until the end, never expecting that she could actually fight her way past the number two seed. She's got some friends in the crowd. Martin, her coach, Zatharesi, first one down to hug her. An amazing moment for this junior girls champion, Christina Kuchova. Disappointment for Ursula Radvanska, falling short to capture her second Grand Slam title in the junior events. But it was all Christina Kuchova in the end. We'll be back with more here at the 2007 U.S. Open Junior Girls Championships. We will talk with the champion and the runner-up when we return. Stay with us on Tennis Channel.